Leading up to the April election, our newsroom actually received a video of a prominent figure generated by artificial intelligence. Now, we were able to determine it was not real, but that still led us to ask some questions. KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge listened to experts in AI to learn what role this evolving technology has in the future of politics. Tell me about Chris Kovac and the Kansas City AI Club. Right now, AI is viewed as somewhat of an assistant, scrubbing the internet for the answers to your questions. Chris Kovac founded the Kansas City AI Club and runs his own AI marketing business. I showed him the AI avatar I created for free in a matter of minutes. There is a little bit of inflection, but it sounds like uh, automated customer service robocall. People with less experience had a harder time. My name is Anna. I live in Kansas City, Missouri. I mean, it sounds like that's the robot one, the AI one. Her words didn't match up with like her mouth a couple times. My name is Elise. I live in Kansas City, Missouri. So which one is do you think a, is real? Is this a trick question or something? There, there's something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was AI. You think so for sure? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that you guys would be better at finding out what's AI and what's not compared to maybe your parents? Yes. Yes. Definitely. yes. Jay Scott Christensen is a professor at the University of Missouri. He says people who have the knowledge to spot a fake video or photo have to step up. Well, this is going to be a real problem. And I tell my students we're entering a zero trust world where you, uh, you really have to act like a good reporter and verify your sources. Right before the New Hampshire primary this year, a robocall went out to potential voters using an AI voice that sounds like President Joe Biden. What a bunch of malarkey. The message encouraged people not to vote until November. That was probably the perfect example of where you would deploy this because it was deployed in a robocall fashion, so it wasn't broadcast in a place where people could inspect it easily. The person responsible says he showed the potential harm AI can cause without guidelines in place. Somebody kind of took the plunge and whether or not that was ethical, uh, that remains to be seen. But now we're starting to talk about it. Both Kovac and Christensen say rules are needed from top to bottom. Kovac says third party actors like outside countries can take advantage of AI to spread misinformation and create division leading up to elections. I think it's scary, but the more that we know what we're looking at, I think the more that we can be prepared to balance out the information that we receive. Information in all of its forms. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News. Abby, thank you. We want to give you some tips to help you determine what's real and what might be AI. That professor she talked to there, he says it starts by looking to trusted sources for information. Also, he says you should seek out differing viewpoints, cautioning that looking for media that confirms your beliefs can only lead to more bias.